A quiet change has come upon the universe. Not with a bang, not with fire, but with absence. Far beyond the reach of any human eye, stars are slipping away. Entire galaxies, once burning with brilliance, have vanished without a trace. What once shimmered in our telescopes now returns silence. This is not illusion. This is not an error. This is a mystery written in light, and in the places where light no longer reaches. The most advanced eye humanity has ever built now stares into the dark. The James Webb Space Telescope peers deeper than any gaze before it. It sees the first galaxies, the infant light of creation, the ghosts of time. But among its revelations came something unexpected. Not a discovery, but a disappearance. Hundreds of trillions of stars, gone. Their light, once traveling for billions of years, no longer arrives. Not faded, not hidden. Simply no longer there. Where have they gone? How can so many suns vanish from the stage of existence? One possibility is concealment. That clouds of dust or invisible matter veil them from our view. Another is collapse, silent, slow, into black holes or cold embers. But the deeper fear is something else entirely. That the universe itself is expanding faster than light can keep up. That space is stretching, swallowing stars beyond our cosmic horizon. Every second, more galaxies cross that threshold. Their light can never reach us, not in 10 billion years, not ever. They still exist, but not for us. They are beyond reach, beyond contact, beyond memory. What we see now is only the echo of what once was. A universe racing away from itself. An ocean of stars draining into a future we cannot follow. The observable universe is shrinking. Not in size, but in meaning. What we can see is less than what is. And that gap grows wider with every heartbeat. Every night sky shows less than the night before. Not to the eye, but to the deepest instruments of science. We are watching the lights go out, not from dying stars, but from cosmic separation. It is not destruction. It is distance made eternal. A farewell written in silence and light. We live at a fragile crossroads in cosmic history. Able to see the universe. But only for a while. This moment, this sliver of cosmic awareness, is precious. We are witnesses to the last stars we may ever know. What will we do with that vision? What stories will we tell, before the silence spreads? Before the sky grows still? Before even the memory of starlight begins to fade? And yet, amid the fading starlight, we remain. A species made of dust and wonder, still reaching, still asking. Our telescopes stretch their arms into the void, hoping for an answer. But the answers now come slower, dimmer, farther. The past is all around us, light from a universe that no longer exists. We see galaxies as they were, not as they are. Each photon is a time traveler, a messenger from a vanished world. And every message takes longer to arrive. Some never will. There are galaxies whose light left before Earth was born, and still hasn't reached us. And there are galaxies whose last light has just arrived, never to send another. In this cosmic tide, we drift on a shrinking island of visibility. Our local group, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and a few dwarfs, is all we may ever touch. Beyond that? Silence, motion, separation without end. It is as if the universe is retreating from us, slowly locking its doors. Not out of malice, but by the nature of its design. The laws that shape galaxies are the same laws that isolate them. Dark energy, still mysterious, still misunderstood, drives this acceleration. It does not push, it does not pull. It expands space itself, stretching the fabric like breath in cold air. We cannot stop it. We cannot slow it. Our gravity is too weak. Our end, but within us burns something stars do not have, curiosity. A flame that no redshift can dim. So we build. We wonder. We launch signals into the dark. We ask questions the universe may never answer. But still, we ask. Because to be human is to seek. 
Even if the sky grows quiet, we carry its stories in our minds. Every vanished star still echoes in our mathematics. Every silent galaxy still dances in our simulations. And maybe, just maybe, there is something beyond all this loss. A pattern we haven't yet seen. A connection we haven't yet made. Perhaps the vanishing stars are not lost, but transformed. Perhaps this expansion is not an ending, but a threshold. One that leads to a deeper cosmos. To a multiverse. A hidden realm. A future not yet written. Or perhaps this is simply how universes die. Not with fire, but with fading. Not with collision, but with distance. Not with apocalypse, but with silence. Whatever the truth, it is ours to pursue. We, who came from stars, now seek the ones disappearing. We, born of hydrogen and time, dare to ask what lies beyond the vanishing edge. We are not done. Not yet. The sky may grow dark. But our questions are brighter than ever. They say the universe is fading. But fading to where? And what lies in the spaces we can no longer see? Where stars have disappeared not because they died, but because distance has made them unreachable. Perhaps there are bridges, hidden tunnels through space and time. Passageways whispered by equations, and hinted by gravity's strange pull. Wormholes. Not fantasy, not fiction. But mathematical possibilities, folded into the very shape of reality. Bends in space-time where the edges of distant galaxies might touch. Shortcuts where none should exist. Could they be real? Could the vanished stars still shine, through another path? The idea haunts physicists. It stirs the minds of dreamers. If the universe is retreating, then maybe we can slip through the cracks. Travel not forward, but inward. Not outward, but across dimensions. Quantum theories hint at more than we see. Not just a universe, but a multiverse. Infinite realities stacked like pages in a book we cannot yet read. Each one slightly different. Some dark. Some bright. Some where the stars never faded. Some where humanity never looked up. And some, maybe, where we found a way to cross the boundary. But the question remains, if we passed through, would we recognize what we find? Would another version of Earth greet us with familiar skies? Or would we enter a realm where physics has forgotten our names? Time may not flow forward there. Light may not behave like a wave. And life, if it exists, may not speak in DNA. And yet, this is the edge we stand on. A frontier not of planets, but of perception. The further the cosmos fades, the deeper we must turn inward. Into mathematics. Into quantum fields. Into consciousness itself. Because maybe the answer isn't out there. Maybe it's in here. In the pattern of thought. In the symmetry of logic. In the strange unity between observer and observed. The deeper we look into the universe, the more it looks back. And sometimes, in that reflection, we glimpse something else. Not stars. Not galaxies. But intention. As if the cosmos is not just expanding, but dreaming. Dreaming through us. Dreaming in equations. Dreaming in the long silence after the stars go dark. So we listen. We build instruments not just of metal and glass, but of wonder. We map what remains. We imagine what lies beyond. Because even if the stars are fading, the story is not over. We are the story. We are the brief light